I mean, all of this started uh, a few years back whenever um, he, Bob started having twitching in the muscles. The twitching in the arms was really my first sense that something was going on. My father died of ALS and he lasted about three years. And uh, the same thing started with him. He started twitching in the arms. And so when the twitching in my arms started, I kind of already knew in January of 2011 that I may have um, ALS. A Sunday in August of 2011, we were in Sunday school class and, and I had planned on uh, saying something about uh, my diagnosis to our class, which is the Hearts in Action class. And we had been with this class since we were the 30-something class, so it's been 20 years told the class that I had been diagnosed with ALS. Well, it was tough. I mean, I think they announced it in class, and, and obviously there were a lot of prayers and just concern for Bob and Barbie and his family. The whole class gathered around me, laid hands on all of us, all of us, and that was very, very powerful for me. It also gave me a feeling that during this diagnosis and this journey that I'm going through is that the class will be there for me. Probably early May of this year, of 2013, uh, we have good friends, the Griffins, that you know travel all over the country, and we always like to hear about their trips because you know we've never been able to do a lot of traveling, although we would love to do it. Bob always seemed to be interested in whenever we went to China. Karen and I had been a couple times. I have double degrees in one in biology and uh, one in Chinese history, so I kind of figured, ah, one of these days I'll go to China. He uh, turned to me and hearts in action class and said, uh, oh, by the way, Jim, I'd, I'd really like for you to take me so that I can stand on the Great Wall of China and I'll pay your way. <laughs> we prayed about it, we thought about it, and we said, you know, who are we to question whether he wants to get there or not? He's a determined guy and, 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 and God's gonna help us. So we said, okay, fine, but we're gonna pay our own way. And so from that point on, uh, they just, ran with it. They got us, uh, made all the arrangements, uh, air travel. Jim worked out every detail. He had someone there to push the wheelchair when we couldn't push it to carry him up the hill, the steps to the Great Wall. We thought it was going to be an easy gondola trip up the wall. Not true. There were probably over 100 steps that we had to get up the wall. Mr. Chung, I think his name was, and he put me on his back and he piggybacked me all the way up. Uh, there's a few steps left and uh, I was bound and determined that I wanted to do those steps on my own. And so Bob started crawling up the stairs and it was quite a sight because this guy was determined. He was determined to get up that wall. And at the very top of it, Bob stood on the top of the wall. Going to China, my goal was just to stand on the Great Wall of China. And if I did only that one thing, that would be all, all I needed. It was amazing. I've seen our class respond to things since we first started going to this class in 1991. I always knew the class would be there. From the very beginning, my belief was that we couldn't go down this road by ourselves. We had to go down it with others. And that's where the class and our families have come together for us. 